walk of the 365 calling back folks my name is Ramon Carlton this is Biff Bufflington and we are here our second night in Duncan and we got three matches for you tonight we got Becky Beach going against Maxwell Benson we got Thelonious Cavonius Harlequin going against Devin Shooters for the 365 Pro Wrestling Championship I mean wow this is going to be one heck of an epic card Biff thoughts uh, I'm just super stoked to see this some of my favorite wrestlers performing tonight Duncan one of my favorite crowds of all time if you haven't been to that city before I highly recommend oh absolutely you're gonna want to check out Duncan you're gonna want to check out 365 uh, combat 365 pro wrestling let's go down the ringside and see what's happening in there this contest has a 20 minute time limit and is scheduled for one fall! Here we go, opening match um, uh, today in combat. We have Brett Matthews making his way to the ring. Absolute unit of an individual. This wrestler is power personified. He's got power personified. I'm just saying, he's built like a statue. He's built like a, a brick house, one may say. Uh, indeed, right you are. And he's not afraid to use all of that power on whoever's unfortunate to sign that dotted line as his opponent. Well, you know, that's what mm. happens when here you step into the 365 universe. But of course, I mean, Brett Matthews wants to make his way up the ladder just like everybody else because he wants a title shot. Right you are. And I mean, he's earning his way up there the best he can. Brute strength. Sometimes people deftly climb up the ladder. Other times people smash their way up. Oh. I'm putting Brett Matthews in the smash their way up category. But right now he's going against the punk star, part of the fallen circus, Zach Andrews. And I am squarely, Ramon is going to squarely put his chances on the simple fact that Zach Andrews has a chance of having a chance. <laughs> right you are, Ramon. Easy for you to say. Yeah. Anyways. A chance. It, indeed. And as part of the member of the uh, fallen circus, he's entitled to the rights and privileges therein exactly what they are, but you know, he's a card-carrying member, so Brett Card Matthews. Card-carrying member, he is the first member of the Fallen Circus after the founder of the Fallen Circus, of course, being the ringmaster, uh, Vico. And we'll see if that pays off in this here match. Absolutely. Now, Brett Matthews was a little bit of giggles when he found out that his opponent was going to be Zach Andrews tonight, the punk star. When I asked him why, he just said because, well, that. Okay. A slightly different, um, uh, Crowd support, if that counts for something, Zach oh, Andrews has that. Absolutely. You know, in the, uh, the the support department, Zach Andrews definitely has the support over Brett Matthews. Brett Matthews just has every other advantage in this match. Right, you are. Athleticism, he takes all the boxes. The crowd support is important. It really is. And uh, support of the Fallen Circus in whatever shape that takes at any given time. Well, one of the things that you've noticed about the Fallen Circus is they actually do not interfere in each other or in, in the matches. They are all individual lone wolves out there competing, except when they're not, and then they're a group of wolves. Fair enough. But alone. We can drum up that crowd support. Ooh. Yes, we can. Here we go. Okay, sizing each other up. Center oh. of the ring now, collar, elbow, hook up, and Look. boof. There we, as See, expected. That's that power. Indeed. Ooh, he's got time to uh, let the crowd know what he thinks of his opponent. What he thinks of his opponent, which isn't much at the moment. Indeed. Chock full of disdain here as Zach Andrews manages to hook up from behind now. 
Driven into that turnbuckle again by the raw brute strength of Brett Matthews here. And Brett Matthews. Also has quite agility uh, driven oh, as far as a big man. I think that Brett Matthews is one of those typical, um, uh, you know, muscle bound, muscle -bound guys that has no agility. Brett Matthews can fly if he wants to. He can get up on those ropes and he can just fly. He is uh, like the complete package when it comes to being a wrestler. Absolutely. A wrestler's nightmare. One of, one of the most opponent. underrated uh, wrestlers here in 365. Um, uh, unfortunately, just hasn't been able to uh, get the right opportunities at the right time. Right you are, but he keeps plunking away. There is no give up in his game at all, and I respect that. Ooh. Ducked there by Andrews. Ooh, boot by Zach Andrews now. That hit the chinny chin chin. Ooh, that brute force tactic. See, this is what I was talking about. Zach Andrews got the strength. You just, you may not expect it, but it's there, and here he's going to go up. Nice. Ooh, oh. sends him back down with authority into that turnbuckle face first. Telegraphing that move doesn't matter. Oh. He's able to land it and drive that knee right into the chest area of Brett, Ma Brett Matthews taking his breath away. To be fair, up on the top rope now, Zach Andrews. Speaking of agility. From an unlikely place now going across the ropes. Walk the ropes. This isn't the actual circus. Indeed. Well, Zach takes a little bit better position oh, and he oh. drops that leg from high up on high. This could be it right here. He's going for a quick pin. Advisable not move. It. No. Could have been it. It was close to being it, but it was not it. Once again, referee Tim, metronomic in nature, saying just a two count. Metronomic. Indeed. Like an unto a metronome. Hmm. He's very accurate with his counting, I'll give him that. I got a word of the day calendar. <laughs> All right, Zach Andrews is Ooh. up. Zach Andrews is down. Absolutely. Brett is in control. Big suplex there, sending Zach Andrews down. Working over a bit of a chokehold on the ropes. Exploiting every letter of the law inside that ring, which is fair. When you're trying to chalk up a W, anything goes. Sure, I guess, possibly. <laughs> there Maybe, it is. probably not. Stomping that lower midsection That's area. True. Ooh. Just pounding down on Zach Andrews, showing up. Uh, pace. Oh. The youth like to say his complete power there. Right, indeed. What, what, what that Stretching was him, him out now. It looks like a full camel clutch is going on. Almost. Zach Andrews, Andrews able to wiggle out. Trying anyways. Ooh. Oh boy. You're not Rake allowed in the to face now. Not a rake. He's like he double fish hooked his nose right through the old nostril proboscis there. Brett Matthews, Matthews having his care, way. Though. Nope, indeed. Oh, big elbow to the back of the head. Ouchie. Nothing but sneers and jeers for the crowd out of the mouth of Brett Matthews now. He continues well, they to really, wipe the they floor. They really should respect more. I mean. I mean, he really should respect the fans more, and um, that's just the way it should be. <laughs> well, I think they've just got off on a bad foot. There's no no turning back now. I'm going on to the foot. Who's getting off the bad foot is Zach as he keeps winding up at his back. <laughs> right you are, Ramon. It's the terrible foot that he's the victim of here. He's up in the corner now. Okay. Brent Matthews having words with the senior official now. I don't know if that's the wise move. Oh, as he Ooh. slaps down his opponent with a brutal chest slap. <sighs> Oh, and that's a corner, corner squish. Oh, he's going to toss him. Right into that ring. Yep, right down. Zach Andrews now, lower lumbar region, obviously affected. He groggily makes his way back to his feet. Nope. Oh, he got squishified again. Oh, <coughs> what was going on? What, what was he? I guess he thought Matthews was going to be there. Was and Matthews squishes him. fake out on the part of Matthews to avoid the counter. Ooh. Oh, but no fake out that time. Exactly. Zach oh, Andrews able to come in for it? a quick roll up pin. pin. Almost, but no no dice. Ooh. Able to yeah, that was right launch to a the, kick to the into the chin chin. Indeed. Oh. Matthews, ooh. Dropping Zach Andrews unceremoniously down in the middle of the ring now. We have taken his toll on both. Well, taking a toll on both. Referee hands up in his air. Matthews now making his way to his feet. Four. Little, taking every second he can. Five. Regain his composure. Six. Still unable to get up though. Seven. Finally now up to one knee. Zach Andrews able to get there as well. Well, one knee is enough to make it um, uh, uh, allowable. There we are. 
Now that both opponents jockeying for Ooh, position for one knee. Oh my slap. goodness. A couple quickly and delivered. And another slap. And another chops. slap. Another, and another and another and another. Oh, Zach, what are you doing? He's unloading. You're going to make right him mad. Now. Oh. You're Brett just Matthews. feeding him. You're just feeding him. Stalwart in You're receiving just feeding those him the slaps. Magic Twinkies. See, I told oh, you. My. Yeah, he's fired up now. Brent Matthews getting charged up from those repeated slaps from charged Zach Andy. Charged up, Andes. zoned up, fired up, it's up, everything up. Brent Matthews is up. <laughs> he's right up, and it looks like Zach Andrews is about to go up and down. In a, oh, yeah, he's getting tangled in the mass of humanity that is Brett Matthews. Here it comes. Oh, this is going to be it. If Powers Brett up. Get it. And un... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. oh, he's able to squirm his way out. Zach Andrews. Never underestimate. Never underestimate Zach Andrews. That is very true. My goodness. Not making anything easy here. No, it's not. Oh, delivering a big kick to the face now. Big kick. We got a pin. We got a pin. We got a pin. Oh. Hand Brett on the Matthews, road. wily enough to sense that well, ring proximity. I mean, he was literally like two, two, like you know, centimeters away. So it wasn't a hard, long reach. Yes, but he was just booted in the face by Zach Andrews at high speed. So kudos to him for regaining composure that fast. Woo! Zach Andrews picking him up now. No composure there. That's an out and over. Oh, oh here we got him up. There oh, he it got is. it this time. No denying that time. Savage and bomb. That is it. That wow. Is recount. Brett Matthews is your winner tonight here in Duncan, opening up 365 combat, telling the fans how much he appreciates them. Number one in his books. Whew. All right, folks, big thank you out to um, uh, Whistleboy Brewery, the Pro Wrestling Academy. You too can be a pro wrestler. Uh, 365 Pro Wrestling. Like us, love us on YouTube, Facebook, all of that stuff. Whoa, I am so excited. This, don't go anywhere. We got two more matches for you. Two more, three more, I don't know. So many more matches for you this evening. 365 comment. My name is Romo Carlin, Biff Bufflington. That's Brett Matthews. Do not go anywhere. Okay, folks, we are breaking here back into 365 uh, combat here from our short interruption. Brett Matthews refusing to leave the ring and taking it out on Zach Andrews. Just continuing the onslaught after what could only be described as an exclamation point victory with an absolutely massive power bomb in the middle of the ring. Oh, it was, we all thought it was up. We were ready, ready to move to break. Uh, referee trying to get somebody out there. Well, here, here we, we got go. the fall circus. We got, we got uh, Vico and who's that? Hey, how's that Carl guy? Carl's real. He is real. The rumors are true. And you remember I mentioned the, the members' advantage of being in the Fallen yeah, well, Circus? Absolutely. I think this is one of them right here. here. Oh, my goodness. Kaviko trying to reason with, with um, uh, Brett Matthews. Zach Andrews out of the ring. Kaviko, okay, I guess we're going to have Good a little stuff. bit of hey, Wait a minute. He's got Carl. They're not They're not paying attention. Carl. Carl. Boys. What's he going to do to Carl? He's, don't, 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 don't. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, that's a German. Oh, my goodness. He just threw him over like a sack of One yesterday's side of the ring laundry to the other. newspaper. Oh, my goodness, Carl. And now Havika realizes they had I a, think Carl's, a soldier left in the middle Carl's of the not ring. Moving. And he is not looking like he's in a Carl. good place right now. I think he's out of not well, only that Matthews ring, is, but all three circus rings with that maneuver. That was one side of the ring to the other. Carl's, Carl's not moving at all. Looking for signs of life here. Senior official Tim outside of the ring didn't witness any of that. Well, I mean, Abiko it doesn't really didn't. matter. I mean, like, it was outside matter, of the match. But it doesn't matter. Indeed. None of this matters because, like, but I didn't even know Carl was real. <laughs> Carl's real and uh, apparently able to feel real pain as Brett Matthews was uh, able to pick off. Oh, wait a minute. Where Carl now Carl's just a mask? What happened there? What the heck? What happened? Th the, the, the fa okay, I'm very confused. Okay. Ramon Carlton will try to figure out what's happening. Maybe next week we can get uh, some information what's happening here from the Vico of the Fall Surgeons or his post person or something. Um, Okay, all right, now 365 Combat. We'll be right back in just a minute. You're ready for war. You're ready for war. You're ready for war. You're ready for war. 
scary wrestling matches? Sydney, you gotta get me out of here. This isn't funny. <laughs> I can't just be blaming pro wrestlers like that without being sure of it. There are rules in pro wrestling. There's a formula. All right, welcome back, everybody. 365 Combat, and we have a match for you right now. We got Becky Beach going again back. Mad Max Benson. Right you are, Ramon. This is a classic confrontation between two graduates from the 365 Pro Wrestling Academy from Shawnigan Lake Beach Estates themselves. Their one and only representative in the 365 division that I'm aware of anyway. Becky Beach, Becky Beach always herself. want to participate a lot of happier these days. Um, she's uh, figuring out the key to participation is that you actually have to participate. Well, go figure. Ooh, what a thunk. Ramon was beside himself when she came up with this um, uh, um, uh, tidbit of uh, logical information. There you go. You know, somebody's always known how to participate, though. Mad Max Benson. Absolutely. Unafraid to sign his name against anyone in the uh, industry that I've seen so far. Put his mm -hmm. skills to the test against whoever's against him. Bit of a decided edge now, too, I'd say. He's, he's um, Benson's had his high and lows as of late. He's, uh, you know, he suffered at the hands of the moment of truth there for quite some time. Um, he was a very short title reign of the 365 um, uh, combat champion. Um, although he technically didn't lose, it was in a triple threat, and he didn't get pinned, but it doesn't matter. He, now he, though, however, is again, like everybody else, trying to make his way up the 365 ladder, the 365 universe, and get himself into contention for another title shot. Once you have a title, you drop, you just don't drop the spot. You go right down to the bottom, all and the you got to work your way all the way back up. Keep that eye of the tiger, baby. It's like Absolutely. a bit of new kit for young Max Benson, too, which is kind of nice to see. Putting his program together like that, new haircut. Yeah, he's got, he's got, to, he's got to find the fire. Though. He's got to get that crowd back on his side. He does better when the crowd is on his side. Ramon thinks. Um, on the crowd, kind of behind him, but not 100 percent here because, especially when you know, like if you don't know, Shawnigan Lake is just on the edge of the Couch and Valley. Right, you are. So another hometown favorite here for uh, the Couch and Valley here in uh, Duncan. It's gonna be hard to win the favor sometimes. The uh, Local supports are fickle, as it were. Oh, what's going oh boy. Uh huh. Okay, fair good enough. Message. Yeah, participation is a good thing, yes. If you do, I need you to stand up. Stand up in your seats. Stand up. Getting some good participation from the crowd. Well, some of the folks want to participate. Young and old standing up. I like to see that. Front row to back. Nice job. Toes, okay, yeah, gotcha. Be careful on some of those chairs. There we go. All right, there we go. Yeah, I got some jumping. Just one jumping jack. Not bad. Everybody's a star. Would you look at that? Okay, there we go. There we go. Participation here. A little bit of moment here. 365 Universe getting everybody involved. I like it. Yeah, warming the crowd up on to uh, perhaps her side of the ledger, as it were. If they weren't already. Exactly. <laughs> Very accommodating. Well done. Easy to transition from a jumping jack into a round of applause. That was a well designed play. Is. Max 
Benson. It's definitely fired up. It's fired up, and um, what we're going to see what happens here is this one gets underway. 365 Pro Wrestling action here on uh, 365 Combat. We got Becky Beach going against Mad Max Benson. It's going to be a great one, Ramon. All under the watchful eye of referee Ronnie. Good to see it. Absolutely. Oh, Max getting down and serious here. Letting the hair loose. Right you are, Ramon. And there's the official bell as the match gets underway. Becky Beach drumming up support. Mad Max trying to do the same. Well, the support is definitely there. And here we got a lockup. And ooh, Benson in control. Definite intensity oh. right off the bat by Max Benson. Both wrestlers back to their feet now as Max continues to control that chokehold. Becky Beach able to squirm out though. Right, Becky Beach in control here, uh, working an on arm Benson's bar. arm. Now that's the arm that's been giving Benson a little bit of trouble as of late. Absolutely, landing shots to that elbow. Twisting now, wrenching on that arm. Oh, Benson nice use of out. leverage, look at that. And up. High agility move Versus. by young Max Benson indeed. A little taste of her own medicine there. Ooh. Mac wrenches into a hammer lock. That's a long way to reach, Becky. Trying to counter now. Ooh. She deftly, got it. Deftly done by. Classical counter for classical movies. She got it. She got it locked in there. Her own little headlock there. <laughs> Indeed. Now wrenching on the head of Max Benson in the center of the ring. Which is a good way to wear your opponent down. Chisel away at that stamina. Benson able to power out of it, though. And Indeed. into a headlock of his own. Not the wisest approach to go straight toe to toe with Max Benson, but it's also a good way to feel your opponent out and size up what you're really up against. Well, sometimes here. the booking options are uh, you want to be uh, on, and it's like you want a chance to go up the ladder. You got to take every rung as it comes. Indeed. <laughs> go with another stylish maneuver by Becky Beach here. Yeah, I think Regains Benson control. was thinking that might be an easy win for him tonight, but he's getting a little bit more of a run for money than he was expecting. That would be a rude awakening if that was his assumption. Sometimes youthful exuberance lets you not see the forest for the trees here. Or vice versa. Oh, oh we missed and punched the ground. <laughs> Roll up! Total capitalized oh, maneuver by Becky Beach. Well played, though. A little discombobulation on the part of Max Benson now as Becky Beach rolls over again. The nice pin attempt in Mad Max is uh, a little... Mad Max is struggling. Unsure of uh, what's going on here. Beach in control. He may have been right about his uh, estimation of his opponent here, perhaps overestimation. Ooh. Oh, straight down. Absolutely. Heck of a shocking move there by Only Becky two. Beach. Powerhouse maneuver. Didn't think she had something like that in her repertoire. To no, be I didn't fair. either. But, you know, she's fired up and just uh, a way uh, more um, uh, aggressive yet in control beach than uh, what we've seen previously. Right, you are. And it goes to show she didn't stop learning once she graduated the academy. She Not continues to work on that oh, absolutely. craft oh. and bring new moves in every week. It's great to see. Ooh, oh, big moves by Mac Benson. Max Benson now. She goes for a pin. Becky Beach able to kick out. Well done. Participation on her part carries on due to that. Benson in control has Beach up and into the corner. Whips her into the turnbuckle now. Oh. Mm, unbelievable. Bit of a telegraph there, but it didn't matter. The pulverization, it continues now. Poor Becky Beach. The onslaught that is Mad Max Benson. Benson is uh, feeling a little bit of his own medicine there, per se. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, oh, a big got a scooper. By and Becky a Beach. Look at that. Oh, that wow. Was like two and a half. That was a solid two and a half. Right? Her ability to turn that around on a dime was outstanding. Max Benson feeling the effects now. Oh, look into the crowd. Sure, we're ready. Oh, oh leg my drop. goodness. A big leg drop. Look at that right over the most lifeless looking corpse, but there's still life in Max Benson. Who can't just, about just a yet? Bit. He was able to pull himself up. He was close to, though. Uh, capitalize here again. Just drops him into the turnbuckle. Setting him up now. Whip across the ring. Reversal ensues. Gets off a little momentum. Under. Chris Cross. Man, was that ever a pounding. That hurt. 
two count. It's Becky able to thrust her shoulder up just in the nick of time. He's reaching for the rope or something. Max Benson squaring up now. Ooh, big shots. Tries to whip into the rope and Becky Beach anchors on and says, no thank you, I do not want to participate in that. Ooh. Oh, Beach has him. Nice. Oh, whoa! Caught him midair with that knee and took him straight down. Chose to let him participate instead. That she did and participated. He did very much so. Ooh. Big nice standing clothesline. clothesline indeed. These are power moves that Becky Beach is throwing down here. It's not to be taken lightly. Opponents better be studying this film, I'll tell you what. Absolutely. Beach fully in control, dragging Benson to his feet, trying to get um, uh, a little bit. Ooh, she may have taken too long. A little bit. She's trying to rebut with some punches of her own now. Able to keep Maxwell Benson on a bit of a leash with that twisted arm. He's been working on that since the very beginning of the match. Another what you're going to do, isolate a body part and work on it. It's working the two. Solid veteran moves on the part of Benson's Becky B. Benson's down. Goes got for a another pin. pin, hooks the leg all the way up. Oh, two and a half again. It's right two there. Two and a half everywhere. She's knocking on the door of victory right there, I'll tell you what. And Becky Beach setting up for another power move, it looks like. Oh, oh goes for a knee She was to the going face. for an X factor, but didn't get it. Not today. Oh, oh, big elbow delivered by Max Benson in the heat of battle. Benson trying to find a little bit of a rally here. I think he may have it. He's looking to get himself fired up. Beach out of uh, out of commission at the moment. Not quite sure where she is. And she gave him just enough respite in an effort to get a power move in, and uh, he was able to turn that momentum around in a hurry. He's got her up. He's going to get her down. Here we go. It's incredible display of power here by Max Benson himself, to be fair. Whoa, all the way around. My goodness. Becky Beach on the receiving end of an absolute brutal shot there by Max Benson. 100% brutal. Benson better figure something out very quickly here, or he, or sorry, Beach better figure out something very quickly here. Benson is going to be um, uh, capitalizing all the way to the win call. Right you are, Ramon, and he's getting fired up enough to go to that high risk area. He's going up, hoisting himself. He's on two. It's right to the top. He's going to go all the way. It looks like he's having a struggle there. It's a Partway through the match, you're not fresh and balanced. Oh, Beach able everywhere. to take advantage of that struggle. Right you are. She's up on the ropes. This is a very high-risk maneuver for Absolutely. both he's got of these all, individuals. But no, he's punching back. He's punching back. This is a little back and forth action yeah. in a very dangerous no area. Beach, you can't have it. Beach is just draped over that What's turnbuckle here? Over in a the very dangerous position. Ooh, oh my boy, goodness! Like she just pounced off that off of that metal bar. Face right into that turnbuckle, Ramon. That's Not devastating. The turnbuckle, the steel bar. That's itself. it, indeed. Now she's up on the ring post. Yeah, ring that's post. what I meant that's what to we're say. Talking about. Oh. oh, down and she go. She managed to pull that, that out. That was like a power bomb X factor. Uh, oh, Wiley on move. the rope. The Powerbond X Factor wasn't quite enough. My goodness, these two athletes are just leaving it all there in the middle of the ring. All in the effort to grasp that next rung and the 365 ladder. Oh, absolutely. Benson on his feet now. Beach, I'm um, a little bit beside herself that that uh, Powerbomb X Factor did not work, but she is trying again to get him up. Benson into the uh, turnbuckle. Beach uh, going to lock him in. She's trying she has for him it. up. She's going for elevation. it again. She goes hosting oh, him on high. Oh, but not enough. Benson able to fight. This is rather unorthodox on both these wrestlers now. Oh. A little flash of dexterity and manipulation here on the part of Max Benson as he's hooked all the way up. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's got it. This is it. This is going to be the pin. That has to be. Is there anything left in the tank? Oh, no. that is it. Becky Beach. I mean, she brought it all tonight oh. and literally left it on the mat. And Benson. What a finish by Benson. Like that flourish of oh, move and technique all the way in to that final maneuver there. Oh, but um, uh, the crowd not really uh, supportive of Benson's win here. Not the, uh, not the moment he was expecting. Fair enough. Beach kind of beside herself there on the mat, realizing that she's, um, uh, yeah, she's um, referee taking, uh, making sure everything's okay. Beach uh, looking on, Benson up on the ropes. And the advantage. crowd giving their support to Becky Beach there they at are, the end. All the way through. 
100%. All right, we got one more match for you tonight. It is for the 365 Pro Wrestling Championship. Do not go anywhere. to be a superhero, or perhaps more realistically, an actor portraying one. But you have a couple of roadblocks that prevent you from doing this. You don't know how to act. You live on an island, and Christmas hugging movies are not a path to superhero fandom. You don't know how to act. You don't look anything. All right, folks, welcome back. It is now time for the 365 Pro Wrestling Championship. Fifth Buffalo, then Ramon Carlton here. This is going to be an epic one. Thelonious, Pavonius, Harlequin, one of the most interesting um, uh, competitors here in 365 Wrestling, all the way from the fifth dimension, winning against Devin Shooter. And um, uh, as we've known, we've learned, two plus two is, of course, five. Right you are, Ramon. I can't wait to see this. What, what's with that? What's this? Who's this? Is that Thelonious? Not indeed, but... Uh, looks like Thelonious, but it's not Thelonious. It's got some of the trappings and garb that you'd associate with Thelonious, okay, but... Okay, what's going on here? That chest is something else. Okay. Open it! Open We're waiting for Thelonious to make the, make the ring. Wait, 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 there's something happening. Let's go down the ring side.
All right, Thelonious Hovonius Harlequin making one heck of an entrance here to the 365 universe in um, uh, Duncan. It's and there's that. What is that? What is that? I have no idea what that is. Part of the, well, the mysterious chest. Maybe it comes with the underling? I don't sure. Know. Un underbird? Underwing? Underwing? Underwing. <laughs> underwing. We'll go with underwing. Thelonious Until has, we know different. Until we know different. Yeah, that is Thelonious, Thelonious Harlequin, and the underwing. <laughs> um, uh, waiting f uh, for his opponent, of course, the 365 pro wrestling champion, none other than Devin Shooter. With uh, an underwing of his own, I might say, usually in the form of a chrome vanadium spanner. No, that's under wrench. <laughs> under wrench. You got, you, you got, you got your under wing. You got your under wrench. You got your under armor. Oh, boy. We got it all. And over, over, under. What's the over, under on that? Over, under, under, done. <laughs> nice. Right you are. Oh. All right. And introducing the 365 Pro Wrestling Champion. Love him or hate him. His record is impeccable here in the 365 universe. And he is the 365 Pro Wrestling Champion. I mean, it doesn't matter what any controversy says. It doesn't matter what people say. The win column speaks for itself. He is the champion. Win, 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 win. That doesn't say anything about no wrench winning. He it, wins. I mean, the wrench is there. We the know truth. that. And I'm still going to get to the bottom of this. But unfortunately, or fortunately, it just says win. That's right. And his is record is no joking matter. Like, all jokes wrench. aside. Devin Shooter takes that championship serious, and he does what it takes to keep the gold around his waist. Absolutely, he does, and there he is making his way to ringside, and the uh, folks in here in Duncan remember who he is and what he is, and they do not like him at all. Uh, I think that's a fair sentiment uh, throughout uh, the island. Whenever he steps into a 365 ring, the crowd seem to unanimously decide they don't like him very much. Pretty much, one hundred percent. It's we do not like uh, we do not like Devin Shooter, and um, it's being measured all right there. Oh, look at that, Shooter sucks. One hundred percent, Devin Shooter does suck. I mean, what was he doing? I don't know. I don't think he's going to take an informal poll with the audience. Well, oh, hey, we, wait a minute. No, you're not allowed to do that. See, that Devin Shooter, Devin Shooter, time to make still sucks. Hey, Devin hey. Shooter still sucks. <laughs> And the crowd Good for loves you, it. Kid. I do too. That gets Bufflington's choice right there. Sign Absolutely, the hundred percent. Shooter uh, beside himself. That's right, Shooter. The fans have spoken. Shooter still sucks. <laughs> Although Good he does job. have the belt. So he, he still does have much. the belt. You know, I'm not sure what weighs more, that belt or that wrench. You know, it's fair. Practice carrying one, so you'd be able to carry the other. There you go. All right, this is going to be a good one. Two uh, very different wrestling styles, of course. Thelonious, Thelonious Harlequin um, uh, likes to play a lot of the mind games, likes to uh, uh, play a little bit with his fifth dimensional powers. And uh, Devin Shooter likes to um, um, uh, hit people. <laughs> Definitely does. Long lineage of wrestling talent in the Devin Shooter family tree. And uh, I can't speak to the fifth dimension. A family tree that is impressive beyond all means under Devin Shooter. They're absolutely. Uh oh. Oh boy. He always does that. He does. He's a little uh, grab happy with the microphone. Let's see if the crowd will let him talk this time. Normally they don't. There's a chance. <laughs> He's I mean, to in many ways, chance. having him not be able to talk is worth him taking the microphone. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> oh. oh boy. Insulting the intelligence of the. Oh. Little oh, crowd responding, saying exactly what they think of Devin Shooter there. Right, you and, are. Yeah, they're not happy. Not one little bit. And he gave up, apparently.
Devin Shooter, from what he says is the greatest country in the world, South Africa. That little tidbit might be what kind of sways the crowd against him just a little bit. You don't say. I'm just saying. We might want to mention that to him. I'll tell you what, next time you see Devin Shooter, I'll bring you that mention up. that to him. Okay. And you see just how well that works out for you. Okay, we'll see what happens. I, I, I bet you you'll get to meet that belt up close and personal much wrench. more than you met the hands of Crofton and uh, Vico. Might not want to do that. Or the wrench. Check myself there. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. We're going to get this one going here momentarily. Referee just checking to make sure everything is on the up and up. Not sure why we even bother, but that's okay. Thelonious. Havonius. So with his magical gloves there. The mystical mittens, oh, he if you will. To clap with him. Why is he clapping? He's so generating clapping. some power, perhaps. He derives power for some interesting places, I've noticed. That he does. His gloves, his mustache, his left boot. Just the left one. Maybe the underwing? Who knows? The underwing for sure. Did you not see that Casey underwing had? It was glowing. It was like that thing from the movie with the guys and the guns and the breakfast. Right. That sandwich of whoever. Who has hamburgers at 7 a.m., by the way? That's weird. Honey bunny. All right. Here we go. Okay. Gloves are on. Almost. Working their way on. Devin Shooter trying to drum up some sort of support, but getting zero. He keeps trying, though. I'll give him... A for effort. On he that keeps front. trying, but it ain't happening. It's not going to happen. No, no, not at all. Not today. Probably not. Never. Did you take a decided attitude adjustment on one of the parts, the crowd or Devin Shooter? Neither one ready to budge at this moment. No, nope, not at all. Nope. Ooh. Power glove. Definitely has a prodigious vocabulary, I've noticed, in talking with Thelonious, Havonius, you want Harlequin. Something. Something's going to happen. Oh, boy. Respect, I like it. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey. Oh. No slappy slappy there, though. Shooter way too uh, on the ball for that one. Indeed. Throws it away. Saw that one coming. So he's been watching tape. Fair. Does his homework. Another sign that he's eager to keep that belt around his waist. Oh, doesn't matter, though. Thelonious in control. Up and over. Absolutely. Power maneuver by Thelonious. Sends Devin Shooter sprawling. Referee Tim, right in close to the action, making sure everything, there's no give up on Devin Shooter's part. I wouldn't expect there to be, but it's part of the checkbox of being a referee. That You can find out if you become a referee. You can also Absolute. do that at the Wrestling Academy, 365 Pro Wrestling Academy. All right. Oh, Thelonious in control, dragging uh, Shooter around the ring, or Shooter's trying to spin Thelonious. One of the two doesn't matter. Back and forth there's a pin, here. Absolutely. But not enough for Thelonious there. A little bit of a different um, uh, shooter, not able to get off his quick start that he's normally able to do here. Mm, bit of a grinding wear down technique on the part of Thelonious here. See if that pays dividends later on as the champion makes his way back to his feet finally. And finally on his feet, like you said, trying to power out of it. Oh, he does! He does indeed. Ooh, ouchie. Twisting on that arm with uh, a vengeance. And locks it in reversal to show Thelonious what it feels like. Good job. It's your opponent with their own medicine. Oh! Once again, though, Filoni is able to dominate and capture Shooter in a headlock down on center center ring area. Able to capture Shooter, dominating Shooter, pulling on Shooter. Wearing him down a little bit at a time. Ooh. Have to vary the trick book a little bit to work on someone the caliber of Shooter as a champ. Oh, Shooter able to uh, power through it, though, to or not. Finished your sequence of moves, and he keeps going back to that same maneuver. But you well, know what? If the technique works, why would you change why it? If would it ain't you broke, don't it. fix it. And again, what he's doing, he's working on the, the neck of Shooter in this case. A, this is demoralizing, and B, it's eventually going to run, make the person run out of breath. I mean, every time you stand up, that was a lot of work. Power being expelled on the uh, both conditions opponent. Uh, both opponents here, but the conditioning is going to wear down faster on the opponent on the underside. Absolutely, and uh, but Shooter's able to get back, to, or trying to get back to his feet, able to get back to his feet. Right you are. Is he going to be able to get Thelonious off? 
Looks like there's power moves. Oh, look at that, though. Tony Fox is back in. Breaks on him once again. Doesn't matter how what what um, uh, Devin Shooter is able to do, he gets out, but Thelonious is able to lock it right back in. And that right there is so demoralizing. Indeed. It's like, you know, you've ever had your big brother get you into a movie, get out, you're in, you're in, you're I mean, it hurts. Indeed. It, and it makes it, you want to cry. I think Thelonious may have been doing some uh, homework. We definitely know that Shooter does not do well with the mind game. Very susceptible to that particular maneuver as well. Waist locked, engaged. Shooter now with a bit of... Oh, okay, that, that's the way on out. his part to get out indeed to reverse rolls, but look at that. Thelonious wise to the ways. Well, don't try to use the move that Thelonious is obviously an expert in. <laughs> Counterproductive. See, that's there what happens. Again. You're just going to wind up right back in there. It's just like what happens when there, you're fighting your older sibling. Forced to break the hold now. she locks now. you in there, she just gets you in and locks you in and cuts off your, your air, then you wake up outside. Thelonious forced to break this time. Finally found a way out, did Devin Shooter. For the most part, Thelonious has been executing. He just slapped his oh, head. I like it. Right in the head. I don't care if that's in the rule book or not. That works. The melon slap. That's all right. Is it called the melon slap? I, just I like called it. Melon it that. so they weird. also made Shooter um, a little Ooh, angry. Now a chest slap and just adding to the buffet plate of slap duggery in the middle of the ring. All that's, that's over the place. Three. Indeed. See, you should have let him hit you with that glove to begin with, Shooter. Now, this is what happened. Imploring the crowd. The didn't get to play. And the glove is upset. Crowd getting to exact a little revenge. The encouragement of Thelonious now as he continues wow. to unload on the chest of Devin Shooter. It's absolutely reeling the power glove. The crowd's chanting for more of the power glove. Ooh. Oh, but a little bit too much waiting for the crowd. Not Devin enough rally. respect for your opponent there. Oh, big shot. Yes, and turnabout is fair play. Devin Shooter pointing to the fan with the sign. Again, he took too much time. Didn't learn a thing or two. Ooh, double slaps now. Slaps everywhere. Shooter feeling the worth for the wear. Again, Thelonious able to come out on top here. I mean, these mind games are working for Thelonious. Absolutely are. He's not, Shooter's not used to this kind of, of technique. Not used to somebody able to get into his head. And it looks like Thelonious has got that game on expert mode right now. Oh, as well, I speak a little too to soon. Face. That changes everything. Indeed. Yes, Shooter still sucks. I and agree. He's taking that time to showboat, so he feels confident in his game at I this moment. I wouldn't be doing that. Thelonious is too much on his game tonight for her to be doing that. Both but wily he, opponents. It appears to work this time, but still. Why put yourself in the danger if you don't have to? Here we go now. Shooter exposing the vulnerabilities now. Belly side up is Thelonious. Ooh, an elbow locked oh, up and then stomped on. The, on. The oh there my goodness. Appendage there. Absolutely. That's a devastating maneuver by Devin Shooter. Just have them draped over the ropes, trying to work on that arm. Is working on that arm. Looks like a key point he's gone to Ooh, now. I was an e, a knee right into the armpit. That would hurt. Right you are, Ramon, and it's a good way to stop uh, the relentless onslaught of your opponent if he's figured out a absolutely a bit of your weak spot. You can oh, take that arm out and take that for play. Here. Looks like he's working on a new appendage working now. Working on the knee, it looks like he's going to work. Oh, Ooh. right there. I told you it was going to happen. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. All the way around on every vital spot of Thelonious. Now being exposed, oh, again, the ankle right now. Right on the knee. That Goodness hurt. sakes. There's nothing now. Oh, being oh, right spared. Devin Shooter continues leg. to stomp on that left leg of the gravely wounded, Eight it would appear. Thelonious, Havonius. He had the advantage, but it's gone now. All di but disappeared. See, gone. Back and forth. Still they gone. go. Look at that now. Devin Definitely Shooter with a gone. rising knee. Yeah, that's going to leave a mark. Oh, Thelonious is down, feeling the worst of the wear there. He better do something very, 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 very quickly, or this is going to be going 100% Devin Shooter's way. Right, you are, Devin and Studer's. Taking a break to work out? Really? He's got that much power left in him. Okay. Time to showboat. Well, the karmic retribution Apparently of those. enough time to showboat. No effect here on him at all. Thelonious is definitely not, it's not good for Thelonious. Indeed. He continues to take a... 
onslaught of some questionable tactics now. Don't pull his mustache. That's his magical power. Oh, my goodness. He's right in and no, twisting no. it. Oh, that is a brutality maneuver right there. Oh, just wrenching on that. That is his connection to the fifth dimension. Is that where the... Oh, I see. Secrets are being revealed you right here on 365. My goodness, he's trying everything to mold. do it. <laughs> here he goes, working to the... Oh, the ring post now. No padding at all. Oh, just taking his head and pouncing it on the side. Why? That's no. Pressure is insane at that point. Shooter, come on. Boy, the crowd really giving it to Shooter now as he's flirting with the edge of the rule book once again. Flirting with it. He's taking it out on a date and buying a supper. <laughs> right you are, Ramon. There are about four wine coolers in at this point. And look at what we've got now. Referee Tim trying to get some semblance of order we back out order. there. We need order. There is no order here. Like you said, this is chaos again. Shooter just doing what Shooter does again. The referee not able to maintain control again. Like, come on. Like, somebody's got to do something about this. Like, Thelonious, you should be doing something. That's true. If anybody not has... the mustache. That's not... Mm. If anybody has the incentive to start doing something about it, it is indeed Thelonious. Oh, Oh my goodness, that's brutal. That is definitely brutal. I mean, that hurts on the fifth dimension, the tenth dimension, the fifteenth dimension. All of the above. That's rolling a nat one on this. Mustache. Oh, just did you? Dang. That oh, was, I think Thelonious is out. That has to be it. Oh, that that could be it, right? Oh no, Thelonious is moving. He's moving. Shooter's taking his time. Cost? This could be to Thelonious's advantage. Devin Shooter now taking his sweet time. Pointing to each and every fan that's showed him derision to this point. With disdain in his own eye now, he's going to look to finish off Thelonious. Thelonious trying, though. He's trying to work up. Just a oh. brutal assault. Right between the shoulder blades Not now. the mustache again. Or the hair. The Leave luxurious the hair locks. No! Oh, he's right no! in on that stash one more time. Not fair. He's counting. Come on. Two. Three. Four. Refusing to break. What's going on here? Just hit him. Trying to drum up support now. Thelonious is on his feet, though. He is. Thelonious He's made is it back up. up. Come on. Unable to contain the power of the stash, perhaps. Oh, and he wow. tossed him with the stash. He, he used his mustache. Unbelievable. Oh, look at this. A little leverage with the mustache. The mustache is tweaking the arm. And that's unbelievable. Oh, dragon shooter to the corner. The power, the power of facial hair compels him. And what? tosses him right over. Brilliance. That is the fifth dimension stash right there. Shooter stucks. Stash rules. Pin him. I'm a Pin dog him. right Pin now, him. Ramon. That was unbelievable. This is it. The championship hanging on the line after a move by facial hair. I don't think that's been done anywhere ever. Well, except the fifth dimension. The fifth dimension. Happens all the time. Okay, Shooter struggling to get to his feet. Obviously, Thelonious is in control. I think we may have a new champion here. Could be. Big, big a forearm to the face. Referee Tim has got the composure to get everything back in the middle of the ring, which is good to see. Ooh, big shots now. Shot there and another shot. That's, I don't know how many of those matter. Come on, give me another. And another. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 15 more. Teach him to play yeah. with his Let mustache. Let the mustache hit him. <laughs> oh. Here we go. Oh. Wait a minute. Shooter says, no way. Ducks out of the way. Big boot to the face. Oh, no. Oh. oh. My goodness, if that doesn't swing the tide of the match right there. Oh, absolutely man. devastating move by oh, that's it. Devin Shooter. I don't think the mustache is going to make it out of this. That was a lot to take. He kicked out. I don't he believe it. He kicked out. He kicked out. Where he got the fortitude to pull that off. Does it matter where he got the fortitude? The, the fifth dimension? The fifth dimension. I'd wager. Absolutely. Working on that mustache again, isolating the body part has been the, 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 the name of the game all night, isolating body parts, and this time it's the mustache, and Devin Shooter is working on it very, very effectively, cutting off the power, the superpowers of the glove and the mustache to Thelonious Havonius Harlequin. I don't think I've ever seen anybody take that tack or that approach that Devin Shooter's taking in. It's you got to do what you got to do. It speaks volume to his research well, on his opponents. Here? What's happening here? The mustache. Shooter's out of the ring, tossed out of the ring. The aid of the mustache, the power by the power of the mustache. Thelonious is now big chop. Taking out of the ring. Full advantage. Off Devin the ring Shooter. apron. The most dangerous Shooter's part of the 
Oh, ring. Most dangerous part. Everybody knows that. Nothing but steel and. Is he trying to eat you? Lack of padding. It may be. be doing that. Letting the mustache take a little oh, that poke was or the two. Oh, mustache was doing stuff. I got gotcha. you. We'll see now. Oh, okay, crowd behind. Ooh. Or was behind. Shooter, shooter able to off. stop that dead in its tracks. That bit of momentum there. Shooter in his way back in. Back in, in the reefing on the neck. You're not allowed That's to do that. that brutal that way to no bring pin. someone in the nothing. ring. Bad shooter. Bad shooter. <laughs> Effective shooter nonetheless. So well, they're technically both in the ring now, though. Yes, indeed. Any counting will have stopped by now. They're both getting to their feet, surprisingly, at this point. This has been a chaotic oh, big match. Chop to <sighs> Colonia is asking for them for some reason. Begging for it, and that's wild. Oh, I guess he wants to get three so he can return three. Fair. Four, fair trades. Five, and six. Got a seven. Big oh, return on investment oh, both back. ways. Oh, we got bam, bam, bam. Swinging like the stock market in October, Ramon. Look at this go. Back and forth. The moves have just oh, the power of the degraded glove right there. down to face palms here. Ooh. Oh, they're both down. Incredible shots. They just they I think they actually met, met heads there. They weren't expecting, and both of them went down. Looks like it. They could be in concussionville population them right now. Crowd trying to rally up support for for Thelonious, I would presume. I would presume, too, their mysterious new fan favorite, I would think. Oh, there we go. Well, that's right. The crowd's saying exactly what they think. Thelonious and Shooter on their feet, though. Thelonious had Shooter up. Ooh. He got him down. Go for he a sure pin. Did. Go for a pin. Too long, too long. Go for a pin. Taking his time. No hooked leg. Oh, should have hooked the leg, like yep. you said. Indeed. It's a bit of an easy kick out as right. far as Shooter they can be. Spinning. Shooter's trying to get up. Thelonious still in control. Always be ready for Shooter. And that's why. Oh, indeed. Oh! Nice move. Regardless of his politics, that was a well-executed maneuver right in the middle. Played a bit of possum. One, to what end? Two and No, Thelonious kicks out. He Only a did. two. did. It's a show of gritty determination on the part of Thelonious. Gritty determination and absolute stamina of uh, of uh, of Thelonious right there, but right. shooters up on his feet, Thelonious sizing him up. See. Oh my! Did you see that? I saw that. That and is all it took. And the saw that. Devin Shooter is still your 365 Pro Wrestling Champion. Biff, can you believe it? I mean. We saw everything tonight in that match, but they Thelonious, left it all out there. Absolutely, Thelonious unable to capitalize at all. Devin Shooter is still the 365 Pro Wrestling Champion. Is anybody going to be able to challenge him? I do not know. I don't either, Ramon. There's a reason he's had that belt for so long. Hey, the rest didn't even come and play. Today. I didn't see that. It was a fair and square. Shooter actually won all. Wow. Yeah. Well, wonders never cease. Okay, you know what? We got Above board. If you want to see what we're talking about with this wrench and everything, you're going to want to check out our past episodes of Combat. Check us out on YouTube. Check us out on Facebook. Like us, love us. And when we got new stuff coming out, you know it. Like an episode of this show every Thursday. Well, Thursdays. But every Thursday, 365 Combat. Ooh, what an exciting night tonight. Next week, we are back in the White Eagle Polish Hall for the return of Nathan Legacy. Legacy indeed. Can't wait for that, Ramon. Looking forward to it. It is going to be epic. It's going to be amazing. My name is Ramon Carlton. Thank you, Pickle Flick. This is Biff Bufflington. We will see you all next time. to be a superhero, or perhaps more realistically, an actor portraying one. But you have a couple of roadblocks that prevent you from doing this. You don't know how to act. You live on an island and Christmas hugging movies
movies are not a path to superhero fandom. You don't know how to act. You don't look anything like a superhero. But you want to fly. You want to be uber strong. You want to be heard when you speak. So what do you do? Well, if you're a billionaire, perhaps you can become Batman or Iron Man. But of the bazillion bazillionaires, 400 or so, that are currently in existence, none have. There is another path though, and it is a path that many have taken, and many have failed at. But it is a path that leads to capes, tights, glitter, amazing kablams, and the occasional ability to fly. Today on the Chronicles of Geek Summer Edition, we will take a look into the den of a group of superheroes and their quest to dominate the world. No, this isn't Marvel, and this definitely is not cosplay. I'm Damon Roth, the Geek of the North. Don't forget to like and subscribe below, and let's get ready to hit the map. <laughs> All right, well, that concludes the battle. 